What do you think? Alright, what is happening? Um, I just, uh, well first off, it's uh, Tuesday, April 28th, 2020, and I just finished dropping Grant off to his mom's, and uh, I'm a little bit tired, I don't know, today it's been raining on and off, it's doom and gloomy right now with uh, some rain right now as we speak. Um, so today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, Jess asked if I wanted to come and do a final walkthrough for her house tomorrow. Um, she's closing on Thursday. So I'm gonna go after, tomorrow I'm going into the office and then I'm gonna go after the office and meet her and take some pictures of her outside of her, outside of the front of her new house and stuff. So I am, I am so excited for, you know, this is, this is gonna be a great thing, I think. And, uh, so, um, I am, uh, but I just dropped Grant off, so, so I'm going to go through a final walkthrough tomorrow, tomorrow at 4.45, tomorrow at 5.30, she's getting a truck, uh, I'm going to meet her with that, and we're going to load the shit out of that, probably load up the entire truck with her entire, uh, apartment, uh, I'm going to see if I can swing by, um, Harbor Freight, they have a sale on moving blankets, She's uh, really, um, really, really wants to keep her bed frame in nice condition. So she has like a $3,000 sleigh bed and it's really pretty. It's gorgeous. It's a queen. Really nice, but she wants to keep that in good condition. So if I can spend 20 bucks on moving blankets and keep it from getting scratched, I think it's worth it. Um, I got some forearm forklifts. Oh, today I, I've been trading stock, so I mentioned it, but I've been trading like a, a little bit of a personal amount of money and trying to make some gains, some small gains here and there for uh, the ability to buy different things that I want. So um, I bought, um, so last week I made about 130 bucks and today I made about 120 bucks. And I cashed out, this is money cashed out, so cashed out about 250 bucks. I spent about 35 on LED lights for Grant's uh, Junior Loft. I spent, I don't know, 12 bucks or something on a, on a, a bag that'll hold a box frame for his, um, that I removed from his bed. And um, I wanted this shelf. I just, it's just a big shelf. It's $175 for this shelf and I didn't really want to pay for it. So, like I said, I've, I've made in the last week or so about 250 bucks trading, um, kind of like day trading essentially. So 250 bucks, so 175 will go towards the shelf. Um, like I said, 35 or so went to the um, LEDs and then uh, that bag or whatever. So it's, it's almost 250 bucks. I might have a few bucks left over. Um, Next up, I want to um, get a few things for the lower level of the house. So I want to get a TV mount, TV wall mount. It's like 40 bucks. Um, I'd like to, if I can, you know, make enough extra cash, I'd like to get a sound bar um, for downstairs and maybe eventually a new television. So we don't need a new TV, but um, it would support a, a bigger TV, you know, if we wanted to with the new setup. So, um, and then maybe like another shelf or something for downstairs to make it look nicer. So, uh, these are just some thoughts and ideas I'm kicking around. And like I said, as I make or earn money, I will apply it towards different uh, things that I want to do around the house. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm in Illinois. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the uh, quarantine and uh, the house arrest and everything going on. The... Um, there's talk that some businesses will start opening up on Friday, um, but then the governor extended the orders, but somebody is suing him, so some judge suspended his extension, and I, I, it's just a fucking nightmare mess. Today we had the, the highest reported deaths or whatever, or cases in like a 24 hour period. There's like 2,000 more people added today 
and like almost 200 deaths or over 200 deaths it's just it's it's insane so i'm not quite sure uh how i, I don't know I, I get the feeling that people are just fed up with being stuck at home it's getting to the point where they want to get back to work get things moving again hell or high water and you know i understand it but um I understand both sides of it. Like, I get that people are just done, but I also understand that uh, they're very short-sighted people because they're thinking like, oh, everything's fine. Like, you know, we need to get back. Well, everything's fine because we've been quarantined. So as soon as you get back, boom, it's gonna hit again and it's gonna be worse, way worse. And, you know, there's no vaccine, there's no anything. There's no treatment, there's nothing. So. It's not going away, but at some point, you know, the rubber does meet the road, right? You gotta, you gotta open things back up. It's eventually. So I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just fucking happy. I have a job. First off, second off, I'm happy that um, I'm most likely potentially gonna get a promotion out of this into a new team. That's pretty much work from home I'm fucking ecstatic over all this shit so right now I'm working I'm going to the office one day a week and it's amazing it's absolutely incredible so that's what's going on um but uh yeah I'm not sure what's going on with Nikki she's supposed to maybe visit this weekend um I hope, I don't know, my parents are excited. They're like, hey, it sounds like they're gonna be opening up soon, we can come back. And I'm like, yay. Um, so two months that I could have been spent hanging out with Nikki, building relationships and shit, and fucking wasted, dude, wasted. Ridiculous, right? Spent more time hanging out with uh, Jessica than Nikki. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, so I'm at it home. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was gonna, uh, I gotta go through the mail. I got, uh, I gotta pack up my work computer and all that stuff, my notes and stuff for, or to bring into the office tomorrow. I have meetings from like 8.30 to 11 tomorrow and then I get to start my work. Just a lot going on. So it's, uh, these, these days, they're not hard. Let me, let me say that, let me preface it with that. They're not hard, it's just difficult. So, meaning, you know, I got meetings, and then I got training, and then I gotta somehow do my day job stuff, and then, um, I don't know what else. So, there's just so much shit going on. Why is it raining and my neighbor has roofing people over? That can't be a good sign. Okay, so, stay tuned for more.